What's up fam, I'm back with another video and as you all know now, Akai has just released some new instruments that you can use with the MPC 2.11 software in both standalone and controller mode. Now once you've purchased these instruments, I'm going to show you how easy it is to download and install them on your MPC. Now this works in the MPC Live, the MPC X and also the MPC One. You already know what to do by now, follow me. Now, once you start your MPC, you're going to get this screen and it says new plugin instruments are available. You must first download and install their content files. Now, this is very easy to do. We're going to hit don't show again because we don't need that info no more. And then we're going to go to an empty project. Now, from the empty project, we're going to go to the menu and then we're going to go into preferences brand new in the MPC in the preferences window you will now see activate plugins directly under info and that's what you want to tap activate plugins if you're not logged into your Akai account you will need to log into your Akai account on this screen it's very easy to do you'll tap log in mine currently says log out because I'm already logged in now once you're logged in you can enter the serial numbers for all of the new plugins that you purchase and tap on register once you have these plugins registered, all you have to do is tap activate for each plugin that you want to activate. Now I just activated all of the plugins. It doesn't take long for it to activate. You can see how quick it is as I'm speaking. Now we have all of the plugins activated. In order to download the plugins to the MPC, and this MPC is in standalone at the moment, there are white arrows next to the name of each plugin all you have to do is tap that arrow and you can see that it will start downloading these new plugins directly to the mpc in standalone as long as you are connected to wi-fi you must be connected to wi-fi in order for this to work properly and as you can see downloading the instrument doesn't take very long at all now i'll be back once all of the instruments have finished downloading and i'll show you a little bit more now while these are downloading i did forget to mention an internal hard drive for your mpc live or your mpc x is highly recommended and you can change your download directory by tapping on the mpc drive and change directory which is located right here I already have it set to my internal SSD inside the MPCX, so that part is already done, but I did mean to show you that. Now that our plugins have been downloaded, we're going to restart the MPC, and then when we come back, all the plugins will be usable in any new sessions that we create. Now that our MPC is back open, we're going to go to an empty project. And from here, there are three different ways that we can get to the new sounds. Either we can tap the plugin icon like we're used to doing and go to plugins and scroll through the new plugins and get to it that way. Or we can go directly to the new sounds browser by tapping here and you'll see all the new plugins listed. And the third way would be to swipe from the left side of the menu and then tap in the sound browser there. Now from here, we can select any of the new instruments and give them a test run. I'm going to go to one of my new favorites. It's called the stage piano. We're going to select that now. And we have the reflection preset selected. And that's all to it. Now we have our new instrument loaded. And from here, if you go to program edit, you will see this beautiful new interface that we have to work with and fine tune our sounds. So that's it for this video. Make sure you have fun with these new plugins. It's going to be lots of fun inside the new MPC 2.11 software. You got to love this. Thanks for watching. Hope I helped some people out and I'm out until the next time.